Welcome to my home. My name is Louisa Dobschitz, and I live here with my husband Moritz and our seven children. My husband worked hard to build this home for us in 1866, and we're very proud of it. My husband is among the first great businessmen here in Belleville, and our home reflects that. I work very hard to create a tasteful retreat for my husband and our family. I'd love to show you our home. Here we are in the parlor and we have our piano. I learned to play the piano as a child and I insist that all my children do as well. I believe the music adds refinement to life and it's a wonderful diversion for our family. I'm Sophie Broom. Yes, that's my real name. I had it long before I was a maid. I work for Mr. and Mrs. Dobschutz and their family. I also live here. I'm the only servant that lives here, so I have a lot of work to do. I don't want to work, but for a girl like me with no prospect of marriage, it's a respectable living. It also helps my mother and father on the farm in Milstadt with my brothers and sisters. The piano is lovely. I wish I had time to learn to play it. Mrs. Dobschutz insists her children learn music. My ears wish they would learn much faster. Do you see this wonderful new gadget? It's called a stereoscope. You look through here to see the images. My husband just brought back some new images when he was on a business trip out west. We love to share this with our guests when they come and they can see the images as well. Don't tell Mrs. Dobschutz, but I love looking through this. It's fascinating to see all of the places that I will never get to visit. And it's a nice break from all the housework. Here we are in our dining room and here we have our sideboard. You'll notice that the Second Empire furniture is a little out of date, but I do think it's a beautiful piece to greet our guests when they come to visit for dinner. Do you notice the deep tones and the fine wood? And here is our ice water server. I'm very pleased to be able to offer our guests cold water on hot Belleville days. And this beautiful service helps to keep the water cold. I not only have to polish this, but when I serve meals to the family, this is where I put the serving dishes after I'm done serving. It seems a bit much for something that holds cold dishes, cold dishes of food. And the water server? Well, it does keep the water off the table, but it's a little extravagant for something that just holds water. This is my sewing machine. I believe that every woman should know how to sew, and I teach all the girls at my hat shop to do so. I hope their husbands and their children agree, because if they didn't know, who would mend their trousers? I know how to sew, and I'm a bit envious of this machine. I mend all of their, the family's clothes by hand. Mrs. Dobschitz's girls at the shop get to use a machine. When Sophie takes the babies for a walk, they must present themselves appropriately. And here we have a pink parasol that will shield their little faces from the sun. My children sleep in more luxury than I did as a child. I had straw mattresses on our uh, farm back in Iowa. But here, my Lulu has down comforters and quilts to keep her warm. And to think, she even has her own fireplace. I received a trousseau chest when I got married, and it had all of the linens that I would need as a new bride. Things are much simpler these days. This chest contains all of the things a woman gets when she gets married. For servants like me, we don't usually get married. And if we do, we have to quit our jobs. I don't want to work. But when do I have time to meet the young gentleman? Propriety does not allow me to tell you what this is used for. However, it is of great convenience. And I'm hoping that Moritz will soon put in a flush lavatory in our home. One of my first jobs in the morning is to empty the chamber pots. As I'm wiping the sleep from my eyes at 5 a.m., I have to take these to the necessary. 
A lot of the houses in town are getting the flush lavatories. Hi, Shorehope, Mr. Dobschutz considers getting one.